Saving Salila's Turtle, an Environmental Engineering Story, Chapter 5, Designing a Filter. The next day, I started to gather some materials to use for my filter. I found an old shirt in my room. I thought I could try running water through that to strain out big pieces. Then I found some cheesecloth that Mother uses to make paneer. Just as I was about to run walk, run to the f river to fill a bottle with water, I bumped into Father. Where you off to? Father asked. I told him about the filter materials that I had already gathered. I have an idea, Father said. While you're at the Ganges, why don't you gather some sand from the river bank? We could try using that to filter the water too. Sand? I asked. Won't sand make the water dirty? I think it's worth testing, Father said. When you pack sand together, there are little spaces between the grains. It could trap some of the dirt and oil in the water and screen it out. Screen, I cried. I have some mosquito netting in my room. That's a really fine screen. We can try that too. Now nah, you're thinking, said Father. When you get back from the river, I'll help you test your ideas if you would like. This is a very important trip, I thought to myself as I walked along. After I fill this bottle with water and filter it, I'll be able to fill a tank for the turtle. A few moments passed, and I couldn't ignore the question buzzing around my mind. What about all the other animals living in the river and in other parts of the environment? I thought for a few moments about what Mother had said about how big the problem of pollution was. By thinking about pollution and ways to clean up the environment, I said out loud, I am taking little steps towards big changes. And if lots of people take little steps, it will add up to big changes, like stopping pollution from happening in the first place. When I got to the river, I knelt down and scooped water into the bottle. As I lifted it up, sunlight streamed through the water, making it glow like amber. I remembered the microbes we had seen, the micro through the microscope in Mother's lab and wondered how many little creatures were inside the bottle. When I got home, Father helped me set up a few different filters. We decided to test the mosquito netting first. Ready, set, pour, I called. I watched the water pour th through the filter and settle in the bottom of the cup. The water still looks kind of brown, I said, turning to Father. This is just the first step, said Father. Remember what your mother said about the engineering design process? I nodded. I guess we should test everything before I come up with a plan. After Father and I had tested all the materials on their own, I imagined combinations of materials. I layered sand between fabric and cheesecloth. I tried running water through pebbles and cotton. Then I drew a plan and created my filter design. It didn't work exactly the way I thought it would, so I made improvements by experimenting with more materials and combining materials. When Father and I thought we had improved our filter so that it was the best one possible, I began filling a tank with the clean water. You've worked very hard on this project, Salila, Father said. I think the turtle will be happy in her new home. I hope so, I said. Now, I just have to find 